Hi, I'm Jacob. And I'm Maggie. And this is our home, our birdhouse. Join us as we travel through Europe and search for a place to spend our days. In this episode, we spot unexpected reptiles in a salted canal. Finally eat our homegrown sprouts and spend a night alone on a bare mountain. Welcome to Living in a Birdhouse. We are invited to a special party in the heart of Italy. More on this next episode. But since this is a six hour drive, we pick a point halfway along the coast, via Reggio.
This knife was given to me as a farewell present from a pupil. Thanks, Dan. Sì. Ah, grazie. Ciao. Heb je enige idee wat ze zei? Ja, dat is nu. Dat is ook Q zo, ze is iets gesloten. We brought some sprouting seeds with us in the camper. Normally, they sprout within a week, but due to the bad weather and the lack of sun, it took them over three weeks. But today, we will process them in vegetables.
We are on our way to our dear friend Giovanni, who lives in a small town called Schifanoia, near Terni, in the heart of Italy. We have planned one more stop in Corbara, where there is a large dam. It is a beautiful spot with a large, quiet reservoir with supposedly a nice village camp named Joy. What's in the name? The reviews are nice. We drive towards the entrance but stop at the start of a small dirt road where it would be otherwise impossible to turn. Alas, the campsite is still closed. It is the beginning of April and most facilities are not yet awake. There is, however, Another free spot. That is situated at a rather macabre, an ominous spot just to the right of the closed camping. We decide to take a look. The road is really bad, and the house we cross is deserted and spooky. But Maggie's driving skills are incredible. She manages to avoid the deep gaps. There's dirt and debris everywhere and it is very, very windy. But beautiful in its rawness. We park and take a small walk. We decide not to stay because of the gut feeling. It is just too lonely out here. We have found another free spot, just a 50 minute drive away. A restaurant Chayo. We call and the friendly owner invites us to stay. We can't eat at the restaurant yet because it is still closed, but we can stay the night. Little did we know where we would end up. The road becomes narrower and narrower as we climb up a mountain. A feeling of deja vu creeps up. And, of course, there is incoming traffic. There is always incoming traffic. We can barely pass it. Mm -hmm. 
I stopped the GoPro. This will be fun tomorrow going down. But as we park near the restaurant, we are presented with an unbelievable, magnificent view.
The next morning, we grab our chance and drive at goose pace behind the delivery guy, who popped up early to deliver some goods at the restaurant. What a relief. to the sunny side we live